हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सिक्किमिक एसिड पाथवे इन डिटेल इन अर्लियर सेशन वी स्टडीड व्हाट इज सिक्किमिक एसिड पाथवे रोल एंड इंपोर्टेंट ऑफ सिक्किमिक एसिड पाथवे इन टू डेज लेक्चर वी विल सी इन डिटेल दैट व्हाट आर द स्टेप्स व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट रिएक्शंस दैट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सिक्किमिक एसिड पाथवे what are the different enzymes that involved in this sikkimic acid pathway before to start with this lecture let's go in brief about what is sikkimic acid pathway sikkimic acid pathway is one of the metabolic pathway for biosynthesis of phenyl propane unit it is present in the cell of bacteria plant fungi now what are the different molecules or the metabolites that get synthesized by this pathway so the main unit that get synthesized by this pathway that is phenyl propane unit or we can say phenyl propane derivative get synthesized or biosynthesized by our sikkimic acid pathway so what is this phenyl propane derivative this phenyl propane unit is the unit or the chemical structure that compose of one benzene ring and three carbon that is we can say c6 c3 unit one benzene ring attached with propane unit that contain three carbon so it is known as phenyl propane unit and the compound that contain this structure as a main ring or as a main skeleton that is known as phenyl propane derivative now what is the metabolic pathway it means the set of chemical reaction step to step chemical reaction sequence of chemical reaction in living organism in which different chemicals get catabolized or anabolized that is they are going to synthesize or breakdown of different chemicals happens in the plants and living organism that is our metabolic pathway mainly in this pathway primary metabolites are involved from these primary metabolites secondary metabolites get biosynthesized now come to the point that is our sikkimic acid pathway as we said that is responsible for biosynthesis of mainly our three aromatic amino acid that is phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan from this aromatic amino acid different secondary metabolites get synthesized that are alkaloid tannins flavonoids etc in different plants so let's start with the learning the different reactions that get involved in sikkimic acid pathway come to the first step in this in the first step of sikkimic acid pathway that start with coupling of our two molecule first one is phosphoenol pyruvate and second is d erythrose for phosphate that couple together combine together condense together and form our compound that is 3d oxy d arabido heptulosonic acid 7 phosphate in short form it is known as dahp this reaction is known as aldol type condensation this phosphoenol pyruvate that came from one of the carbohydrate metabolism that is glycolysis this d erythrose for phosphate came from another carbohydrate metabolism that is pentose phosphate pathway like this from this primary metabolic pathway we are getting these two compound and our another pathway started that is responsible for synthesis of our secondary metabolites now come to the point how this reaction happens so here you can see in pink the structure of phosphoenol pyruvate and in blue the structure of our erythrose 4 phosphate so during this condensation reaction what happens 
the CH2 group of our phosphoenol pyruvate that bind with phosphoenol pyruvate that bind with the carbon of our erythrose for phosphate here it will bind carbon of our erythrose for phosphate and it will get converted into the group that is CHOH group over here CHOH group over here in this aldol condensation CH2 group of our phosphoenol pyruvate bind with aldehyde group of our erythrose for phosphate the group form is CHOH group at this carbon this phosphate group will get released and this group get converted into keto group now come to the second step that is cyclization of our DHP DHP converted to cyclic form that is known as 3D hydroquinic acid for this enzyme involved is 3D hydroquinase synthase for this enzyme the cofactor is NAD plus and copper in this reaction the ketonic group at this position get converted into hydroxyl group like this and this CH2 group at the end of this our blue carbon get attached to this carbon number 2 and it will form this cyclic form this phosphoric acid will get released and so 3-dehydroquinic acid get synthesized now come to the third step this 3-dehydroquinic acid dehydrated in this and converted to 3-dehydrosychemic acid water molecule will get released in this on this carbon number 2 OH group will release in the form of water and due to that here double bond will get formed so that is our 3D hydro chemic acid come to the fourth step in this 3D hydro chemic acid get converted to chemic acid enzyme involved over here is chemic dehydrogenase at carbon number 6 this ketonic group get converted to hydroxyl group the coenzyme involved over here that is our NADPH it give hydrogen and so this ketonic group will get converted to hydroxyl group and that is our sikimic acid come to the fifth step in this that is sikimic acid get converted to sikimate 3 phosphate or sikimic acid 3 phosphate so this is phosphorylation reaction that is phosphate group will get attached to carbon number 3 and it form sikimate 3-phosphate that is our sikimic acid 3-phosphate the enzyme responsible for this that is sikimate kinase this phosphate group came from what ATP and this ATP get converted to ADP that will get released come to the sixth step in this in this reaction phosphoenol pyruvate get added or it get attached at carbon number 5 of sikimic acid 3 phosphate and it will form 5 enol pyruvyl sikimic acid 3 phosphate in short form it is known as EPSP the enzyme involved for this reaction is EPSP synthase during this reaction water molecule will get released come to the next step step number seven in this step from this phosphoenol pyruvyl sikimic acid 3 phosphate phosphoric acid group will get released this phosphoric acid will get released so there is a breakdown of this bond and here there will be the formation of bond so here there will be the formation of double bond at carbon number two and three 
so due to that this double bond earlier will get break down here and further it will get shifted to carbon number c1 and c2 that is over here carbon number c1 and c2 the double bond will get shifted and it form chorismic acid or chorismate the enzyme involved for this reaction is chorismate synthase or chorismic acid synthase now come to the eighth point of this reaction for the synthesis of another compound here from chorismic acid for the two branch of our pathway will get started in first step this chorismic acid get converted to anthranilic acid that is precursor for our amino acid that is tryptophan so come to the detail in this this chorismic acid get converted to anthranilic acid from it phosphoenol pyruvate group will get release and hydroxyl will get release further there is the addition of nh2 group that will get attached to carbon number 2 and it form anthranilic acid this cyclic ring will get aromatized it get converted to benzene ring the nh2 group come from glutamine this glutamine get converted to glutamate the enzyme responsible for this is anthranilate synthase this step number 9 this anthranilic acid that precursor for our tryptophan amino acid undergo different chemical reactions and form our tryptophan anthranilic acid get converted to phosphoribosyl anthranilic acid this phosphoribosyl pyrophosphate get attached to anthranilic acid and it will form phosphoribosyl anthranilic acid at the end of this different step at the indole ring structure there will be the addition of or there will be the attachment of our another amino acid that is serine and water molecule will get released so there will be the formation of one amino acid that contain indole ring structure that is our tryptophan the enzyme involved in this that is tryptophan synthase as we said from chorismic acid two branch of our pathway started one we had seen that is synthesis of anthranilic acid and tryptophan from that the another one is from chorismic acid the second pathway started with the formation of our prephenic acid with the presence of enzyme chorismate mutase this chorismic acid converted to prephenic acid with the presence of enzyme chorismate mutase this enzyme what it will do this enzyme rearrange this structure of our chorismic acid and form this prephenic acid you can see the structure the rearrangement these our from this chorismic acid this group will get attached over here near in carbon number 1 so that is the rearrangement so how this rearrangement happens that is that is double bond at ch2 this carbon will get attached to this carbon at carboxylic acid group and this bond will get break so over here there is the formation of double bond due to breaking of that double bond so here there is the formation of double bond and synthesis of prephenic acid in the presence of enzyme chorismate mutase that is structure rearrangement happens over here now come to the next step that is our tenth step the next from this prephenic acid also further we have two branching of pathway from this prephenic acid our tyrosine and phenylalanine amino acid will get synthesized so come to the step number 11 that is decarboxylation and dehydration of prephenic acid to form phenyl pyruvic acid or phenyl pyruvate in the presence of enzyme prephenic dehydratase this carboxylic acid group release in the form of co2 and this hydroxyl group release in the form of water this ring will get aromatized and form aromatic ring our benzene ring and it form phenyl pyruvate or phenyl pyruvic acid from this phenyl pyruvic acid reductive transamination happens 
in the presence of enzyme amino transferase nh2 group is added over here in this and that came from glutamate the enzyme involved is amino transferase amino group come from the glutamate it will get attached to the carbon and it form our important amino acid phenyl alanine so reductive transamination happens this glutamate will get converted to alpha ketoglutarate now come to the next step that is step number 13 prefenic acid undergo decarboxylation and dehydrogenation removal of hydrogen and carbon dioxide so this coh group in the form of co2 and one hydrogen will get removed to form four hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid in this dehydrogenation means hydrogen molecule release out so ring get converted to aromatic ring benzene ring the coenzyme required for this that is nad plus that is get converted into nadh and the enzyme required for this is prefenate dehydrogenase prefenate dehydrogenase and it form four hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid or para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid we can say this reaction is known as oxidative decarboxylation now come to the step number 14 last step of our reaction from this para hydroxy phenyl pyruvic acid reductive transamination reaction happens and tyrosine will get formed that is amino group will get attached to carbon that came from glutamate glutamate get converted to alpha ketoglutarate the enzyme responsible that is amino transferase and it form tyrosine this phenyl alanine and tyrosine that is we can say c6 c6 benzene ring over here both and 1 2 3 carbon over here in tyrosine 1 2 3 carbon in phenyl alanine so that is propane unit so that is c6 c3 c6 c3 unit or phenyl propane phenyl propane derivatives will get synthesized from this our amino acid or from this sikkimic acid pathway so what are the different metabolite get synthesized from this phenyl propane unit that is tannins lignan that is tannin lignin coumarin cinnamic acid we can say this phenylalanine tyrosine and tryptophan that are the very much important building blocks for our synthesis of different secondary metabolites mainly alkaloids and different intermediate of this metabolic pathway is also responsible for synthesis of different secondary metabolites the example is this dahp further undergo different reaction and is responsible for synthesis of very important gallic acid this corismic acid is also responsible for synthesis of para amino benzoic acid that is paba a part of folic acid so thank you everyone for listening my video so today what we covered the different step that involved in sikkimic acid pathway how the different intermediate get formed how they are responsible for synthesis of different metabolites thank you everyone for listening my video for watching my video thank you so much